Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. Since the start of CHP's maximum enforcement period Friday night, officers have made more than 850 arrests for DUI, and that number is growing. Maximum enforcement runs through midnight tonight. Police in Denmark say a gunman who killed three people when he opened fire in a crowded shopping mall acted alone and apparently selected his victims at random. Three more people were critically hurt. The 22-year-old suspect faces murder and attempted murder charges. With abortion bans expanding around the U.S., Google says it will automatically erase information about users who visit abortion clinics. The company also including counseling centers, addiction treatment facilities, and other locations that could lead to legal problems. Record heat linked to major problems in Italy. Seven people are confirmed dead and more than a dozen hikers still missing after a huge chunk of an alpine glacier broke off Sunday, sending ice, snow, and rocks down the slope. Meantime, firefighters are battling a wildfire raging in a park in northern Rome. This is all about three miles from the Vatican's St. Peter's Basilica. In a letter to the White House, WNBA star Brittany Griner, currently jailed in Russia, appealed to President Biden not to forget about her and other detainees. She's on trial now after a February arrest on charges of possessing cannabis oil at a Russian airport. A federal judge has ruled in favor of three major U.S. drug distributors in a lawsuit. Cabell County in West Virginia said the three companies caused a health crisis by distributing 81 million pills over eight years in a county ravaged by opioid addiction. The judge said cases like this should be decided on the facts and the law, not sympathy. Vallejo High School grad Joey Chestnut has won another Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest. He powered down 63 hot dogs and buns in 10 minutes to take home his 15th win. A San Francisco couple who had parked their car in a paved space in front of their home were suddenly fined $1,500. It's because of a decades-old city code meant to preserve neighborhood aesthetics that hadn't been enforced until now. The city canceled the fine after the couple moved the car. The fourth season of Stranger Things has set a streaming record for Netflix. Since the May 27th debut, the show has had 7.2 billion minutes of viewing, beating the previous record holders by more than 2 billion. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.